Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin-yoku, bringing you an Etna volcano update. Powerful lava fountaining during overnight, the 8th and 9th of July, 2021. This is the third such event since the paroxysms have kicked back up. The event in question here, uh, showing up in telemetry here, slightly lower in power than the last one. However, telemetry here coming from Philvox, the Volcanic Ash Advisory Center, Toulouis, showing aviation color code red and an ash plume to flight level 20 to 30,000 feet. And here saying it, the ash plume last night went to 11 kilometers altitude. That's 36,000 feet. Would be one of the largest puffs from Etna in quite a while. So there's an uptick there at Etna according to the data. Now let's talk about the eruptive history of Etna. It has been blowing its top quite regularly in recent history. VEI 2, 3, the most recent VEI 3 back in October 2002. Another VEI 3 in 1994, uh, June, June 17th. Another VEI 3 in 1989. But this, the volcanic history is long and it includes uh, lots of VEI 5 potential. So the potential eruptive disposition for Etna is VEI-5, and you can see here that there are people within that VEI-5 range. Now, we do have some footage for you of last night's paroxysm, so enjoy the VEI-6 or 7, probably a shield volcano or a large super volcano like Campi Feregri, and that will change Earth overnight. Once again, Etna volcano update, powerful lava fountain during the night, last night, the 8th and 9th of July, 2021, ash plume to 11 kilometers, which is 36,000 feet. And during the night, yet another paroxysm or lava fountaining episode occurred from the new southeast crater after an interval of less than 48 hours since the previous one. Etna continues its breathtaking, record-breaking sequence of regular paroxysm at intervals of around two days now. With no end in sight. The sequence of events was almost identical to the previous event, but this time the eruption seems to have been significantly stronger as it produced a tall eruptive column that rose an estimated 11 kilometers altitude. That is massive. Strombolian activity has reappeared around 9 p.m. local time, gradually increasing afterwards to merge into sustained tall lava fountains by 2245 UTC, lasting for two hours. Hours of powers over at Etna. Uptick at Etna. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when many, many scientists are predicting an increase in volcanic activity moving forward. Are you prepared? We're not here to scare you, just to prepare you. Remember the seven Ps. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And that's a boom. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe.